Hi, and welcome back to This Homestead Life. I'm Jenny, and today I'm going to show you our minimalist homeschool setup. Hi, everyone. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and dive in to our new homeschool setup, which is right here behind me. It's off of our kitchen area. We are planning to do most of our homeschool at our island this year. That's our cat biscuit. He's in a lot of the videos. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're so we're planning to do most of our homeschool here at the island. So it just made sense to do our homeschool setup right in the kitchen so that everything is super accessible, easy to find and get to. So I'm really excited that I was able to just very nicely fit everything on this new bookcase that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. And it totally goes with our kitchen, so I'm really excited about that. I'm also really excited that I was able to keep the design light and airy and minimalist while also having everything that we need for the whole school year right there on this bookcase. So I'm gonna take you shelf by shelf, show you how I organized everything, and uh, also just to mention, we have three kids that we are homeschooling this year, uh, seventh grade, fifth grade, and third grade. So most of our curriculum this year is simply Charlotte Mason, which I'm very excited about. Uh, other than that, um, for math, we are doing a Becca. My daughter's doing Apologia for Science and uh, my son is doing the good and the beautiful for typing. So, but other than that, most everything is simply Charlotte Mason. I do plan to do another video walking you through all of our Simply Charlotte Mason curriculum so you can kind of take a look and check that curriculum out if you're interested in that. So let me go ahead and take you shelf by shelf and show you what all we have in our homeschool setup for this year. Okay, as you can see, I kept it really simple on the top shelf. I just have a couple of vases, one with some greenery and a beautiful basket that I scored at our local thrift store for $3. Such a good find. We can use it to collect garden veggies. Okay, moving along to the second shelf. I just have a couple of more decorative items and some xylitol gum in this glass canister for the kids. I also have this wooden kind of old fashioned calendar. I love it. And uh, a wooden box that holds all of our music study for part of the Charlotte Mason curriculum. On the third shelf, I have our CD player for playing all of our classical music CDs. I have pencils and colored pencils. And then in this basket, I have all of our enrichment studies. So I'll go through that in just a moment. And then next to that, I have all of my books for providing the tests and quizzes and speed drills for the kids' math. Okay, so in the basket for enrichment studies is a lot of good stuff. So I've got um, a daily devotional, I have a habits training manual, um, a hymn guide, our picture studies for our artists that we'll be studying this year, and our poet that we'll be studying is Robert Louis Stevenson, so his book of poems. So these are just all of the beautiful things we'll be studying this year. On the middle shelf, I have everything that we will need for our history, geography, and Bible, as well as my daily lesson planner. I love this planner. I will link it in the description. It is so helpful for just organizing all the days, including meals. And yeah, it definitely keeps me very well organized. <laughs> so yeah, so this shelf holds all of that as well as uh, some mapping books for the kids that are part of our curriculum, some other books under these that go with our history and geography and a stack of notebook paper.
Okay, the second to bottom shelf holds all of the individual curriculum for each of my kids, including their nature journals, which we will be doing once a week. This is my daughter's basket. And I find that grouping each kid's curriculum by basket is super helpful because you can just pull out each basket in the morning for that kid and everything that they need for the day will be right there in one little basket just to keep it very organized. They know where to find everything and it just keeps it very easy. Um, this is my son's basket. He's going into the fifth grade, as you can see. And then my other son is going into third grade. And this is just a quick look through all of his stuff. But yeah, these baskets are, they really make it just easy for organizing everything. And I find that it's easy for the kids too. So every morning I will set up the baskets um, next to our shelf just like this. So each of them can easily grab everything they need. On the bottom shelf, I have several baskets. One basket is for all of our extra books uh, for history and geography, also um, some individual books for um, the kids reading. And the, uh, the second basket is our, the kids' Bibles and an old hymnal that we found at the local thrift store. And then the third basket is a catch-all for all of just extra supplies that we'll need. I have a calculator I need to throw in there. Um, just different things. So you can see this is just a space for keeping all of those extra things. Also in the catch-all basket, I do plan to add some of our art supplies like watercolors for nature journaling, um, the paint brushes, like a little jar of paint brushes, um, some markers, highlighters, and stuff like that. Okay, here is just one kind of final, final look at our minimalist homeschool organization for this year. I hope that you are able to get some really good ideas for organizing your homeschool space to keep everything well organized yet still beautiful. And again, I hope that you found this video helpful. I would love if you would like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.